Welcome back from Graphic Extras. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how to create a distressed brushstroke using a brushstroke. And the brushstroke I'm going to particularly use is a cap brush from Graphic Extras. And here's a selection of cap brushes. I'm just going to quickly apply it. Just, I'm going to apply it in black. Just click OK. There's the brushstroke. And the first thing I'm going to do is go to the filter brush strokes splatter and I really like the splatter one it's actually a sort of very noise effect especially when applied to extreme you can actually set it very extreme and you also you can see nice lines in the actual well, subtle lines I've set the smoothness down to the minimum I'm just going to click OK at that point well, actually, that's quite extreme, so I don't actually want the entire thing, so I'm just going to fade it a bit. I think that's, uh, with all these things, it's uh, a bit of fade is actually quite good. So you can actually still see the cat. Now I'm going to distress. Obviously, I want the, the grain around the edge for one of the plugins called the Accented Edges. And I'm just going to click OK. And you can, like I say, still see the cat. Not completely lost. Filter. Brush strokes. Accented Edges. And now you can actually see the actual distressed around the edges. I can actually probably just gonna before I do that, I'm actually just gonna add a little bit more uh, distress effect. I'm just gonna put that to white. I'm gonna use a custom shape, which is the line option. I'm just gonna just apply a few just lines into this. I think it adds a bit to the distressed effect. I think just on its own, it probably doesn't particularly work so I'm just gonna just apply a few just lines just quickly very randomly you could obviously do this afterwards as well as before in fact you could do both so now I've done that I can go again to the brush strokes accented edges and you can see the lines there but it's so it's quite distressed and I've set the edge width to the minimum uh, edge brightness reasonable so you can actually obviously make it more there or just make it brighter around the edges so it's just slight subtle and of course if you go smoothing it actually reduces it basically back down to the, the, the effect beforehand you can just very subtle accented edges so I'm just gonna put the smoothness up a bit click OK and there you have the actual distressed cat brush and of course at that point I can actually quickly go to the selection marquee and I can go edit, define brush preset, a sample brush, deselect, and now I can go over there. And instead of using the other old brush, I can now use this distressed. And I'll put that black so you can actually see that. And you just apply it there, apply it there, apply it there. And of course you can, as with all the brushes, you can use them with different blending modes. And I think Divide is quite a good one for actually creating some unusual effects as well, distressed effects. So you can just apply that over there. And you can, of course, go back to normal again. And so on. Anyway, I hope you found this quick tutorial of interest and that you'll subscribe to the Graphic Extra channel. That'd be great. Always adding many new videos every couple of days. So thank you much.